Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on and while you're down there, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. So today I thought we could talk a bit about suicidal thoughts. Now, I know that a lot of you have dealt with or are dealing with suicidal thoughts and as someone who's been there, and gotten out the other end alive. I want to say it does get better and it does get easier. And honestly, it makes suicide feel like the only option you have. But it's not your only option. You have the option to fight it. When you're feeling suicidal, it, can feel, it may feel like you have no option other than to act on these thoughts. But there's nothing that will make these thoughts and feelings go away. Or that it's the only way to make the thoughts go away. Or that it's the only other way to end the pain. Feelings of pain are real, but it's important to know they can and will pass. There are things you can do in this moment. It may feel like nothing will help, but there are things you can do and you may feel differently after you've tried them. You can try and get through this moment or this day rather than focusing on the future. You may have felt like this before and it may have passed. Try to remember this feeling is temporary. It will go away. Don't make a decision today. You don't need to act on your thoughts right now. Let's have a real talk. As someone who's dealt with suicidal thoughts, when I lived in Lancashire, my suicidal thoughts were really bad. I felt very isolated, even though I had friends. Friends that encouraged alcohol drinking, so... This jumper's so fluffy. <coughs> fluffy jumper! I used to have really severe suicidal thoughts, and the one mistake I always made was acting on them as soon as I got them. That landed me in resource, in ICU, all over the hospital, treat treatment ward, AAU. Learn from my mistakes. Acting on suicidal thoughts as soon as you get them is a big mistake. If I would given it, say, an hour, it probably would have gone away. And if not, then I could have phoned the crisis team and been hung upon. I hope it's in the Hung Up video, it's linked on the iCard. But I've learnt that when you do feel like that, it passes. So, yeah. The other thing I've learnt is acting on it only creates problems. Because when you act on it, you run the risk of being sectioned here in the UK. And believe me when I say this, Nobody should want to be in hospital, such as going to a safe space, such as your bedroom, a friend or family member's house, a mental health centre, crisis centre, religious or spiritual centre, peer support group. You try to ground yourself. Grounding skills really help. I do actually have a key ring with coping mechanisms on. Let me see if I can find that. Another thing is distract yourself. Read and book a magazine. Watch a film or TV series. Go to a museum. Draw or paint. Listen to some music. Do some gardening if you've got a garden. Unless you live in a flat like me and you're not very good at taking care of plants. Exercise, walk, run, jog. Play a video game or other games and puzzles you enjoy. Singing or playing a musical instrument. Spend time with a pet. Remind yourself of your coping strategies. So yeah, there's just a few things that can help with suicidal thought. Obviously there's more than that. You could write a letter to a pen pal or you could get a pen pal. Go shopping. I know for me when I'm down, I like to buy makeup. This, the proof of that is that I need to get some new drawers to store my makeup in because the ones I've got don't fit it all. I have some makeup in my bedroom, some in my bathroom, 
some in drawers. All in all, I've just got a lot of makeup. Then I've got my skincare products on the edge of my table. My room's really just disorganized. I should organize it. But yeah, these are just a few things that could help with suicidal thoughts. I hope this video has been helpful. And if it has, please let me know in the comments down below. If you're new, subscribe. Join the growing family. If you're wondering why I say join the growing family, it's because I consider you all part of my family. And we're in this together. So join the growing, fam growing family. Because my channel is growing. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video. Peace.